So meeting TJ for the first time, we would message on Facebook all the time and somehow we became Snapchat friends. And I used to think- oh, hold on, his uh, name on Snapchat. Yeah. Go ahead and tell that. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty Getter 69, but it's not what it sounds. <laughs> it's actually from catfishing. Well, she messaged me on Facebook six years ago probably, seven years ago, and we started talking. He was bearded, he liked to fish and hunt, so I was like, sure, we can be friends. <laughs> and I sent her a meme of a guy and a girl hunting and fishing. I said, this could be us, but you keep playing. <laughs> what do you call that little thing? <laughs> and then I asked her for, I think, her Snapchat. And then she asked for mine in return. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said, it's Kitty Getter 69. <laughs> Catfish, Kitty. Just put put two and two together and came up with Kitty Getter 69. <laughs> it's my favorite number. <laughs> it's the only way to do this, ain't it? Can I have a drink? Of course. Got to see ya. And then on a random Tuesday, he said, do you want to go to get beer and wings? And I was like, yeah, I'll do beer and wings. So I drove to North Vernon, which I'd never been to before, and I met a bearded stranger in the parking lot of CVS. Pulled up, I did a head nod to her, and then we went and drank beer and ate wings. <laughs> and I dropped a pen to a friend, because I thought if I go like missing, I don't know where Love It, Indiana is. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> Last scene here. We went to V-dubs and I, we, here we are, almost five years later. Kelly stood by my side 12 years ago on my wedding day. And I guess I should be thankful that she allowed me to stand next to her today. Because in 2009 at my wedding, she told me that I probably wouldn't be in her wedding. <laughs> because I would be too old. <laughs> Not only does Kelly adore you, but so do my children. You are such a fun, lovable guy. My kids have an amazing, adventurous aunt and uncle in the two of you. Now don't get me wrong. I think you are a terrible influence most of the time. Absolutely a bad influence. You are rough and rowdy. She's always trying to get my girls to skip school. But you all are the best bad influence. I knew when I looked over and we were laying in the middle of a cornfield on Halloween night and she was shoveling Cheez-Its into her mouth. <laughs> Corn stalks in her hair and everything else. So.
I promise to always love you. And I want to just say thank you for always being the most selfless, caring, and loving person I've ever met. You are honestly the best thing that's ever came into my life. I honestly cannot wait to be your wife and stand by your side for the rest of our lives. I promise to always support you in all of your dreams, even if that means buying more guns than what we really have room for. <laughs> I promise to always love you. And let's be honest, you make my heart race just like the geese do when they do it dirty in the spread. She yet to be proven. <laughs> Kelly Dom, from the moment I first saw your smile in the CVS parking lot, I knew you'd be something special in my life. Whether it's the days when you have corn stalks in your hair and honey bun breaths, or the days you've made a slave just because your hair wouldn't curl just right, so you just put on a hat. You've been my best friend, my biggest supporter, and normally have a pretty good dinner for me at home. As I stand here with you, I can only imagine what the world has for us. Whatever it may be, just know, I will always support you, and I will always love you, and I will definitely always spank your ass for you. The world is endless for us. I love you, pretty girl. So yeah, we've been together for five years now, and we were together for almost two when um, we were going on our turkey hunting trip. And we had one good day of weather. And I said, I think I'm gonna propose to her on the top of this mountain. It should be a crime every time she walks across the room. Like a dream, a movie scene, what's a country boy to do? With those red lips and those blue jeans, my heart's skipping a beat. She's that pure kind of authentic, that top shelf kind of thing. She's Southern Girl. So I don't know if Kelly knew or not, but I didn't know until about 40 minutes before it happened. We get to this mountainside, we walk all the way to the top, and he says, get your phone ready. I look over and he's on one knee and Kelly's looking over. Kelly starts crying and and it's it's unusual for TJ to hold up, to hold back something. So that moment for me, I knew it was gonna be special to him because that day was the day was special to everybody. up like the tallest mountain there. I don't even want to know how many feet it was up above sea level and I wanted to die. So we crawled to the highest peak in Nebraska and I was taking pictures of her looking over the valley and all that and she thought I was taking pictures of her ass. <laughs> so then I like I turned around and then I got mad and I went to turn back around and he was on one knee actually. <laughs> and then she turned around and I was on <laughs> one knee and asked her if she could marry me. TJ, you may kiss your bride. 